reducing the road from four lanes down to two. Bicyclists are, of course, happy about the proposal, but some homeowners fear what it might do to the area. Starting at Manchester Center Tuesday. It's a street we all travel on, and so it's important that we're there supporting it. About two dozen bicyclists made their way to a community meeting inside Northwest Fresno's Thomas Elementary School. That issue, a bike lane proposal called a road diet, a slimming of the roadway that city leaders will vote on this Thursday. A federal grant would be used to fund the $328,000 project to add bike lanes to a 2.7 mile portion of Gettysburg Avenue. Council member Larry Westerlin was there. He answered questions and filled in residents about the plan, one he's in favor of. Uh, we did try to take people's concerns in, into consideration and, and do something that will work uh, for hopefully both communities. But that doesn't seem to be the case. It should go to the people that are in the Homeowners in the affected area argue bike lanes would create traffic congestion and make it more difficult for them to exit driveways. It's a waste of money and uh, just a restriction of the flow of traffic. And it's, I just don't think it's right. Bicyclists disagree. They say additional lanes will make it safer for them and encourage a healthier, cleaner Fresno. We were just listed as number five on one of the top ten polluted cities in the country. And so it's really important that we allow for um, ways for people to take alternative forms of transportation. And the only way is if people feel safer. And this was the second meeting held on the issue. The last one was in November, and things got pretty heated tonight. There was a lot of back and forth on this issue, but it was much more calmer than last time. Reporting live in Northeast Fresno, Shannon Handy, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you, Shannon.